Hello and welcome to Backlog Conquering. It is part 7 of playing Tearaway Unfolded on PS4. Yeah, in part 6 we got here, the lab. And it, we had a little exploration, didn't really find anything interesting. So we're going to go straight and continue the story. All the PlayStation symbols and stuff, it's really cool. It was just a little odd because we were given a choice to continue or not. Which made me think that perhaps if we continued there's like a cutoff in the game where we won't be able to go back and do stuff. But I walked around the office and I couldn't really see anything so we're just going to um, continue the story. It's been really charming this game. I'm really interested to see. Oh, okay. I'm really interested to see what new gameplay mechanics they're going to introduce or how they're going to use ones we've already been shown. Apologies if the PS4 is a little loud in the background. It's a bit hot here now in Japan, and unfortunately, it's a launch model PS4, so it's a little old. I have changed the. Oh, white person. That sounded weird, but watch. Now, not white. So yeah, we'll keep. Yeah, I have changed the um, the paste on the on the uh, processor. You know, put new. Oh, I can't remember the terms. Essentially, I have opened it up, cleaned it, and put new paste on it. But it's just old. It's going to be like this. Breakthrough. Looking for things to interact with. Yes, it is. Well, no, we're fine. Hit the wrong button. No. So, that's not bad. Keep that. So, we can either go in the lab or we can keep looking. What's he want? I don't think I can. I think I'm going to do anything better. Oh, it really wants me to make something, doesn't it? I just want to exit, but you can't exit from the screen. You have to actually try to do something. Pretty terrible X. Ah, I don't know how to make this any better. Like, how would you draw a beaker? No, that's not quite what I want to do. Yes, Mr. Helpful Squirrel, I know you're there. I know it looks like a cross, and I'm trying to not make it look like a cross. Oh, what happened there? Huh, I was trying to do the cross media bar. Hmm. It's going to look like a switch, I know. You have to trust the process. I 
I kind of want like one of the options at the top just to be a shape, so I don't have to physically draw a shape. Hmm. Let's make this even more horrible, shall we? <laughs> um. How though? How can I make this worse? Looks like a dirigible. Huh. Definitely not what I was going for. Ah, one more colour, why not? What's the worst that could happen, eh? Um Let's try and pick that up on top like that. Why not? <laughs> Felt like a waste of time, but never mind. Hey, present's present, I suppose. What does this guy want? See, now we've got this stuff up here. I love the tie. Hmm. Let's get the mid monocle. I kind of want to zoom in a little bit with the character. There. Yes. What else? Anything fun. All these little characters we've met along the way. It's a lot we haven't bought, but I don't think... Actually, I don't know if there are any trophies locked behind buying stuff. Oh, I should angle that before I use it. Kind of like a belt, maybe. Shame it's not like a moon. It's not a moon either side would be cool. What would be really nice if this game used the um, camera, because it had a microphone on it. So if I could just say squill and it would take me there yeah that'll do all in the process again a nice one of these but I must have having done so many of these and not really being that keen on the whole um, designing on the controller I am getting a little tired of these now. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> oh, we have to do platforming. That's like a roller coaster on the background. I wonder if we're going to get a ride on that. <laughs> Can I hop on there? Also, we're not supposed to do this, but I think that needs uh... Yeah, it does, okay. Right. 
Checkpoint. Whoops. Yeah, there's just something about this game. I've mentioned it in a few parts now where jumping doesn't quite go as you expect. Like, there was no shadow for me to judge where I was relative to the platform. The shadow only appears really close. Unless I was just very off. This feels like it makes it harder than it needs to be. It's me, Mohahaha. So this is buttons. Okay, okay. It's, ah. If I come up for the challenge. Oh, it's my Timur again, isn't it? Oh, this sounds terrible. Sticky. I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to do there. <laughs> I think you only get one treasure chest for that and I don't think it's worth the hassle if I'm honest not in a first playthrough anyway now that's clever If you notice, the light bar that appears on screen is from the original PS4 controller, not the one they finished with, where it has the smaller light bar on the back. Ah, they're back. Interesting, even this late into the game, we're getting new types of enemies. <laughs> Goodbye. Now what? Pick them up. Wait, huh? There's one down. There's another one down. Probably not the best way of dealing that, but. Really wants me to try and use the fans. That'll do. A new weapon. Ooh, are we going to get something to melee them? That could be interesting. 
game. What are you doing with the camera there? That was weird. But this game coming from the PSP, it doesn't feel like it's a port of the PSP game. I don't know if I was going to try and save them or not. Better not be a puzzle. Oh, you can see that's sticky. Uh huh, okay, okay. And it's like the bad guys are over here. Where do they go? I can't see them, can't hear them. There's something around here somewhere. Where are they? Jumpy ones. Ah, I saw them jump and I just couldn't get the um, wind off in time. See, like that. Missed the opportunity. There we go. That will do. <laughs> No! <laughs> hey, that was my fault. Now, is that ribbon meant to be white? What do you think? Take a picture just in case. Yeah, it looks like it. Almost like a TARDIS inside, if you know Doctor Who. Ah, an accordion. I wonder if some we're gonna have to keep recharging or not. Oh thank goodness it came out of the speakers and not my controller. I'm guessing this one, R1, huh? I wonder what would have happened if you took a long time. Would the enemy have shown up? That's a cool door. Oh, I like that. L1? Yeah. There's no railing. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Now I'm gonna let go of L1, see what happens. Okay, so you don't need to hold it.
Where are they? Flying ones now. Yeah. Now this is really useful. I like that. Why can't I move anywhere else? Oh, maybe you just need to jump. <laughs> yeah. Why is this all dark and gloomy? Ah, we're going to have to go and save her, okay. Oh, I like this weapon a lot, it's really fun. Okay, can't get too high there. Goodbye. Whoa, nuts. Let's try that again. All right, let's keep going. For a new control gimmick, this is a good one. It's really worked out well this series that in every video there's been at least one cool new gimmick. But this one is a little bit OP, which makes me feel like we're getting towards the end of the game because it's just that strong. so smartly integrated into gameplay. It's one of the cool things about this. Oh, I tried. Does that go somewhere? Okay, let's get the circle. So you gotta hold down X for this. Which means. Yeah, that went flying! Do we actually need the circle? Because I don't have it anymore, wherever it's gone. Huh. Okay, so the paper squished me. Oh, okay, just made it. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. Now I've got to go back. Ah. There we 
we go. Oh, it's another one. Goodbye. <laughs> they got a giant one. Yeah, but that's a problem with weapons of mass destruction. One of these. I look like there was a. to tell what am I meant to do with them if I do find it that's the thing it doesn't seem to do anything goodbye <laughs> I wasn't gonna hang around and let that thing beat me Makes me think there might be some more somewhere. Wait. <gasps> Jumping, platforming, it's just not this game's strong suit. Huh. It's a wall. There we go. The one who pushed my luck. Damn, there's just a little ledge there, so I couldn't run. I should just have to jump it up it. If I go this way... Yeah, I can hear something. I'm guessing we can't go that way, or we're not meant to yet. So we are perhaps meant to do this platforming section. It doesn't do anything, does it? Oh man, why can't I judge this? Oh, you hit me, press the button, but nothing happened on screen. There's something I'm missing here. No, I don't have the wind power anymore. Ah, oh, touchpad. Okay, okay. I don't think I can make that jump, so... Let's go this way. I realized way too late that I was wrong there. Oh wow, that's actually a little tricky. Oh, nearly made it. I actually do have to go all the way back, don't I? Ah, nuts. There's nothing hidden around here. Please put back the beginning. Yes. Shortcut. <laughs> so there's something over here then I'm meant to do. Perhaps I can just make that jump. said, perhaps I can make that jump. There's no double jump. So, what am I missing? There's 
might be the first time this game's actually stumped me about where we're meant to go and how we're meant to get there. There's nothing this way, is there? There doesn't seem to be any thing we need to do there. This does feel like it's the way to go. There it is, double jump using the spring. Oh, I never thought of that. Goodbye. Wait, perhaps I should need one for that. Oh, that helps. Huh. Okay, they didn't change them into buttons, but worth a try. Well, I wanted to try. Ah, <laughs> forgot to pick it up, didn't I? Ta da Now what? It's triangle, so obviously we need to do that and will that open the door? Oh no, it's a fan here, isn't there? Missing. We go this way, hit square. Ah, there, gotcha. Dealing with those enemies is so much more satisfying now. I kind of wish I had this power much earlier. Alright, <laughs> again, nice and quick. So... Nice little puzzle section here. I don't have the power of the wind anymore, so yeah. Go away. There we go. Jump, jump. After having a stage where those platforms did disappear, I am a little bit nervous that that's going to happen as well. How does that help me? Ah. There we go. Bit luck, but I don't mind that. Oh, he jumped over it. Yes, the gods in this game did that on purpose. Because of the gods that we're not finished. We could have finished in like part two, but the gods wanted more story. Oh, 
almost kind of wondering how the gods are going to intervene here. There's a target. I don't have anything to throw. So, what am I meant to do here? Huh. That was not very well telegraphed. Maybe I dealt with the enemies so quick that we missed that they could do that. But yeah, that was more of a blind faith kind of move. Maybe from past experience playing games I would have got that. Where am I going to get a Wendigo from? Animated GIF lens, even though you wanted the raw <laughs> GIF does not have sound. Oh, we can't sit down, can we? Oh, this is that roller coaster thing we saw earlier. Okay, here comes trouble. Ah, so there is a reason behind their madness. buddy um I don't know we're going to do anything else with that one that do? Well, let's upload it, but yeah, we'll keep it. No, this will be fine. Let's go back then. Well, no, perhaps there's something else we need to do over here. Like, are we meant to float in there? He wants me to draw something, doesn't he? Ah, oh, okay. Basically, dodge the attack. <laughs> this is one of the more easier ones. Oh, not quite. Come on, Digo. Haha. -ha. Right, so there's nothing else to do around here. Let's just head back. We've got that video. So guys, can't fix it. Cool if like the camera was a little bit more cinematic around this. I'm trying to manually do it myself. 
actually there's not much to see on this way around, is there? Where do we have to go again? Alright, let's keep going. We're still going to try and get to the office. We're in here somewhere. Do I get that? I think I need to pass it to me. And I need to fling it. Yes! Well remembered. Now we need to Metroid. There we go. Now, there's two buttons there. Come on, nuts, there we go. Why wouldn't that go in? Did it actually need to go in a different hole? That's not going to work. There we go. what I want to do, because I'm going to do this. One more. See, I've got to put it on there. Very clever. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing there. Of course I can go up here, can't I? Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to pass that to me. I need to go up here then fire it there. There we go. So yeah, just a little bit more difficult but not hugely so. I think it's a sensible increase in difficulty. One that makes sense. Anyone else? This camera's getting a little annoying. I think we got them. Did not see that. Oh, we have a chair. Let's just uh, take a photo of that. Does the chair just talk? Maybe. Wait, what? Oh, 
Um, not sure what it wants me to do. I'm gonna take a picture of this and see what happens. Huh. That seemed rather weird. I mean, you're on the verge of an earthquake. Um, is that meant to happen? Okay, let's try and hit these. The cabins. Well, yeah, it's taken another twist, hasn't it? So much for thinking I was close to the end. Again, it's another gameplay experience, another gameplay mechanic we haven't had yet. <laughs> Free falling, but you know what I mean. I turned myself into a ball then. I figured that would be the right thing to do. This is very pretty. Uh, nothing's reacting hugely to the light. Obviously, this being a cabin, they don't like it. And the light's not refracting off any of this stuff. Um, have we now lost our weapon? I think we have. Yeah, I can manually blow again. Oh, that's a twist. Hopefully we get it back. But he didn't seem overly bothered about losing it, did he? No, I haven't forgotten we're trying to catch our friend. But it's getting a little late in the video. I don't know if I want to keep going if we've got a long way to go. That was a silly mistake. You know what? Let's save this journey back to the top for another video. And just look at that, it's so cool. So yeah, part seven of Terror Unfolded continues to surprise, continues to innovate, and it just continues to be fun. I'm really enjoying this. Again, in the comments, I think, like in every video, do you remember playing this game? Did you have fun? Did you play the Vita version? It'd be interesting to know how different this is to the Vita version. I imagine perhaps drawing on the Vita version is a little easier, but yeah, Terror Unfolded is just, just continues to be a good time. With just enough puzzle difficulty as well. So I enjoy that. That's a kind of on my level. <laughs> so yeah, until the next part, or until I see you checking out some of the other videos, playlists, or YouTube shorts we have. Or maybe I'll see you over at Kofi as a small YouTube channel. We get no money from YouTube. But with Kofi, we can get PayPal donations as well as other donations. And we have a couple of subscription tiers as well. But wherever, whenever I see you again, please take care.